Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do iris paper folding. It's great for making cards or art or anything you like. It looks really effective but really simple to do and inexpensive. So I'm Christine of christinescrafts.com um, and I'm going to show you how to do it today. So what are you going to need? You're going to need some card to mount your picture on. You're going to need some coloured paper to do your design. I've got a large selection here, I'm not going to use all of them. It's entirely up to you how many different colours you use, depends what effect you're looking for. You're going to need a design and you're going to need two copies of it. This one's from handcraftedgreetings.com and the details are below in the description, but you can get them anywhere on the internet. You're also going to need some sellotape or some sort of tape, it doesn't have to be sellotape, I know that's a brand. Some masking tape, low tax the best, it's just to hold it together while you're working. Some double sided tape to mount your finished design. Some scissors to cut your paper and your cardboard. A pencil and a ruler. So let's get started. You're going to take one of your sheets with your designs on and, and decide which one you want. Now I think I want that larger triangle, but now I'm looking at it against my card, I think the smaller one's probably better. So from one sheet, cut out the design. You're going to use this to draw it onto your card. So you're just going to draw around the shape. Now in this case, it's a simple triangle, but it could be a complex shape like a butterfly or some other creature or animal. So position it where you would like on your card and I'm simply going to mark the corners because it's a simple shape. For a more complex shape I would draw all the way around it. I'm now going to use my ruler just to join those points up. We're then going to need to cut the shape out of the card so that you can build your iris design up inside it. You can use a craft knife and a cutting board, but because I'm trying to keep it to things you're probably going to have in your house, I'm going to do it with scissors. You'll notice I use a little tiny pair to make a hole and then an ordinary pair of scissors just to cut around it. I think you do generally get a better effect with a craft knife, cutting carefully, but scissors work perfectly well and you'll see here you can get a very good effect. If you're not happy with the edge, you're not quite right, just tidy up any loose bits. And then we're going to have our shape ready to go. So next we need to get the other sheet that's a complete design and place it underneath our cardboard so that the whole design is showing through. And we're then going to tape that down so it doesn't wander around while we're working. Hence you want low tack if you can just so you don't keep damaging your card or your template if you're going to reuse it. Make sure you're perfectly lined up and just tape it in place. And that's ready to go. So now we need to prepare our coloured paper. I've picked three colours because it's a triangle and I want to do three different colours on three different sides. And you need to cut some strips. I tend to do mine about an inch wide. Now you're going to see here, it really doesn't matter and it doesn't matter how accurate those inches are. As long as they're about that, it'll work perfectly. So you can see once I've measured one, I'm doing it by eye. I'm doing as many as I think. You can always cut some more later. And then I'm going to prepare them. Okay. So each piece of paper, place the ruler approximately two thirds of the way across it and fold the paper over it. Now this gives you a beautiful straight edge, which is what you're looking for. And then take the ruler out and run your finger all the way along it to make it a nice firm crease. You can do it with your fingernail if you like to get a really crisp edge. But that edge is the edge that you are going to see on your design when you're finished. So I'm just gonna show you that again. Put your ruler about two thirds of the way across and fold the paper over the ruler to get that nice straight edge. Once you're happy with that, take the ruler away and firm it down. And just repeat that for all your strips. So you've got lots of strips with a nice folded edge along them. Then we go back to our design. 
and we look it's all numbered so it tells you what order to do it in so take one piece and this is what we're going to use for the one that's labeled one make sure the folded edge is in on the design so that that shows through your cardboard to the other side because we're working on the wrong side of our cardboard at the moment place it on make sure it lines up with the edge of section one and tape it in place as long as your tape doesn't go over the edge of your cardboard and appear on the other side and so long as it doesn't appear through the hole that you made in your cardboard it's absolutely fine it doesn't matter where you tape it so we've done section one now look at section two decide what color you would like cut your strip down to length place it exactly on the line along the edge of section two and tape it in place Now, because I'm using three different colors I'll now swap to my other color to do section three I'm sure you're starting to get the idea place it on cut it to length and tape it in place and that's it I'm all the way around so I'm just going to carry on working my way through the numbers four five six and onwards right through to the middle so as you can see I sped this bit up but you just keep working your way around you'll see that I'm using a different color on each side because that's the effect I'm going for it's entirely up to you you could do all of this in one color you could do it in lots of different colors experiment get creative make the, the design you're looking for but you'll see the gap in the middle is getting smaller and smaller. Just keep working my way around. And shortly I'm going to get to the point where I've only got that little space in the middle, a triangle. And it's up to you what you do with that triangle. You can leave it with nothing in it if you're going to put something nice and coloured behind or you want to just see a picture behind. But what I'm going to do is select a completely different colour. Yeah, let's go for the blue. And I'm just going to stick a piece of that over the centre and that will just fill it in for me. And that's it. I've covered the whole thing. So now I need to carefully remove my tape. And when I turn it over, I should be able to see the great reveal. The design is finished. Really pleased with that. So now I can just mount that wherever I want to go. So I'm obviously going to place mine on a card. So I've cut it down to the size of the card. And I'm now just going to put double sided sellotape on the front of the card. And stick it on. So I'm just going to run it all the way around the outside so it'll be a good firm hold. If you were putting yours in a frame you might not need to mount it on anything, you might be able to just stick it straight in your frame. Doing it on cards, you may cover the whole front of the card or you may just cover a section of it. It's entirely up to you. As you can see mine's going to cover the whole card. And there you have it design all finished and the great iris effect in the middle so i hope you've enjoyed watching i hear a couple of other designs that i've done a butterfly and a christmas tree you'll see you can make loads of them so thank you for watching good luck with your iris paper folding please remember if you enjoyed my videos subscribe below leave me some comments give us a thumbs up and i'll see you again in the next video bye